Erica Ferrando has been in Chauvin this evening. She's keeping tabs on things down there. Erica, are you seeing more water come up where you are? Well, right now we're in gray just outside of Homa, and it looks like we're actually getting a little bit of a break from the weather. We were getting a lot of gusty wind and some rain just a little while ago, and now it's kind of cleared up. So we're getting a little bit of a break before Barry actually makes it to us. Um, right now we're actually at the Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness. We have Director Earl Hughes to talk a little bit about how they're preparing and what they're expecting heading into the night. I know you were just telling me a second ago that you guys have about 2,000 people in the parish that are actually without power right now. You said there were some downed trees and different things like that that were causing a few issues for some residents. Yeah, good evening, Erica. That's exactly what happened. We've been having trees fall uh, since 4 o'clock this afternoon. We were getting calls and also with the power lines down. Uh, Intergy has about 2,000 out. Uh, Sleeka, which is our other electric company, had a few houses out too. And uh, I feel sorry for the ones that are out right now because they're probably going to be out until the duration of this storm which we don't really know how long it could be. I mean, maybe Sunday or Monday? Well, it looks like uh, from the recent forecast that we did, it looks like we're going to probably have about 36 hours of tropical storm force winds. So that puts us into early Sunday morning. You mentioned earlier that a lot of people here have been sandbagging their houses over the last three days or so. Obviously, um, I mean, if you haven't prepared by now, you're kind of stuck where you are. With, but it looks like a lot of people did prepare in this area. Yes, we did. We put out a lot of sandbags. Our parish president, Gordy Dove, made sure that the drainage department uh, had a lot of sand locations out. We had 16 sand locations. We think we put out close to about 20,000 sandbags in the last two days. So what do you think people here need to expect heading into tomorrow? Well, they need to expect a lot of gusty winds. Um, we will probably have some hurricane force gusts, not so much uh, sustained hurricane winds. But uh, we're going to have tropical storm force winds for a long time. Due that the storm is going to move due north of us uh, in the duration of the storm. So that's going to continue to give us tropical storm force winds, push water on us uh, in the lower portions of the parish. And then uh, we're expecting anywhere between 10 to 15 inches of rain up to maybe 20 inches. So are you expecting some different homes and businesses to possibly take in water? Well, you know, our power's drainage system has been pumped down for the last three days, and we have a lot of reservoir capacity. But when we get that amount of rain in such a short period of time, the pumps sometimes cannot kick, pick, uh, keep up. So we think we're going to get some street flooding in some subdivisions and, and possibly maybe even have some homes with some water in them. We've been driving around the parish pretty much all day, and it looks like a lot of different businesses Closing early. Um, I know like the Walgreens, the food places, the Walmart, everything we're passing by is just closed right now. It looks like people are trying to get home early today. Yeah, they're trying to get home before the weather gets any worse. Now, we do have a curfew in Terrebonne Parish. It starts at 10 p.m. tonight till 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, law enforcement will be enforcing that curfew. Uh, and if people are going and coming and going to work, they're going to let them go to work. But you may get stopped, but they're going to ask you for identification. So much for all you're doing and all your help and keeping everyone informed um, you can stay with WWL we're gonna stay here in Terrebonne Parish and make sure to bring you updates throughout the night but for now live in Graham Erica Ferrando Eyewitness News